Hi, everybody. Welcome to English Digest. I'm Tom. Hi, I'm Stephanie. And it's our science unit for the month of October. Today is the first of October, so we kick off the month of October by talking about eye color. Okay, so of course, lots of people have different kinds of eye colors,、mm -hmm. and it's kind of fun if you have different eyes or different eye colors. Uh, I kind of see sort of the same color here in Taiwan. Pretty much, I can't remember people having like green eyes or blue eyes here. Unless they wear those contact lenses, right? Which are、yes. kind of—they're、uh, a little creepy to me. I must admit.、Mm, right, they're kind of strange indeed. But、uh, we are talking about eye colors and、uh, how they come about, and why people have different eye colors,、uh -huh. and what parts of the world have different eye colors. So we'll talk about that in today's lesson. Let's get to it. Let's listen to the entire contents now. One time. Eyes are often called the windows to the soul. From crystal clear blue to deep and mysterious brown, every eye color holds a unique charm. The formation of eye color is mainly influenced by two factors: the amount of melanin in the iris and genetics. The iris is the colored part of the eye. The more melanin it contains, the darker the eye color will appear. Melanin not only gives color to the eyes, but also absorbs surrounding light to protect the eyes from UV damage. Additionally, eye color is the result of multiple genes working together, inherited from our parents, which determine the potential range of our eye color. Interestingly, eye color is not fixed. The eye color of a baby may differ from their adult eye color as melanin develops and matures over time. Besides, Environmental factors such as sunlight exposure can cause temporary changes in eye color, making them appear lighter in sunny environments. According to statistics, brown is the most common eye color globally, especially in Africa and Asia, while blue and green eyes are more widespread in Europe. Green and gray are considered rare iris colors, and pink is usually associated with albinism. A condition caused by the absence of melanin. No matter what color the eyes are, they reflect a one-of-a-kind genetic combination and individual features, displaying beauty and diversity. Let's dive in, guys. We're going to discover the mystery behind your eyes.、Um, I didn't know some of this stuff, so it's kind of interesting to learn the science behind what we live with every day. We see. We see our own eyes. We see other people's eyes.、Um, I often connect,、um, you know, my relationship and how close I am with with being able to look into someone's eyes and see how they really think or feel. So our eyes are really important. This first sentence is a very famous saying in English. Eyes are often called the windows to the soul. Like you can see through to someone's soul if you look into their eyes. And from crystal clear blue. That's a color that we're describing there. To deep and mysterious brown, every eye color holds a unique charm. So we've got crystal clear blue. Crystal clear is sometimes used to talk about something that's really transparent. It's unclouded.、Um, it's very clear to anyone. For example, sometimes my parents would say, "Our rules are crystal clear. There's no mistaking them.、Uh, you can't misunderstand them. They're very obvious." Uh, but here we've got a range of colors. I happen to have green and blue, more green than blue. But my mom had blue, my dad had green,、okay. and I kind of mix. I have more green than blue, but I always loved brown eyes the best. We had no brown eyes in my family, but I always told my mom, "I'm going to marry someone with brown eyes. I love brown eyes."、Uh, okay, but again, we've got different sorts of eye color.、Uh, my eyes are hazel. That's kind of rare. I guess they're kind of a mix between brown and green. Uh huh. And uh, I didn't really notice this before, but my daughter pointed out that my mother's eyes are blue, and my oldest brother's eyes are blue as well. I suppose I knew that, but I grew up with them and didn't really notice. So that、uh, just shows you that、uh, people in the same family can have different、oh, eye yeah. color. Oh yeah. Yeah. What about your dad, though? Uh, I think his eyes are brown, maybe hazel,、uh -huh. like、my, maybe green.、Oh. So maybe, know, maybe you get more of your、different. dad's color then.、Yeah. Uh, could be right, and it's all genetic. My daughter and I were discussing this the other day, and she knows more about this than I do. And yes, indeed, basically the point is、uh, your eye color may not be determined by the color of your parents'、mm -hmm. eyes, 
So yeah, it could be genetic through several generations. It actually is kind of complicated, but we do have a range of colors again, from crystal clear blue to deep and mysterious brown.、Mm. So if something's mysterious, well, you don't really know much about it. It's kind of strange, and、uh, you can't really understand it too well. So if somebody has brown eyes and you look in their eyes, you just think that person is a really mysterious person. They are somebody you really want to get to know better. Yeah, so let's go to the next paragraph. The formation of eye color to form something just means how it's made. The formation of eye color is mainly influenced by two factors. The first is the amount of melanin in the iris, and the second is genetics, genes from our families. So, melanin,、uh, if you don't know, is a dark brown or black substance. And it's a natural part of our skin, our hair, our eyes, and everyone has a different amount of melanin in their body. Now, the iris is the part of the eye that has the color, and then that dark center that's kind of black colored. It's called the pupil. So those are the parts of your eye that we're、uh, we're going to talk about mostly the iris today because the iris contains the colored part of our eye. Well, iris does mean color in Latin, I believe, and、uh, the word in Spanish for rainbow is arco iris, which means a colored arc. I just、mm. thought I'd mention that in passing here,、yeah. but yes, the iris is the colored part of your eye, and the iris is the colored part of the eyes. It says the more melanin it contains, the darker the eye color will appear. I think I knew that before. If you have more melanin in your eyes. Then your eyes will be more brown in color.、Mm. If you have less melanin in your eyes, then they will be lighter. They'll be green or gray or blue. Cool. So it not only gives color to the eyes, but it also—I'm talking about melanin. It also absorbs or、uh, soaks in surrounding light, and that actually helps protect our eyes from UV damage. UV is short for Ultraviolet; those are rays of light from the sun that we can't actually see with our naked eye. So, yeah, melanin is pretty important. It gives us color, but it also helps protect our eyes from UV damage. I know nowadays they make a lot of sunglasses that have a UV protection on them、uh, to let you know that oh, we're giving you even more protection for your eyes from the the sun that hurts you. Those rays of light called ultraviolet. It might explain why people who live far north have lighter colored eyes or lighter colored skin because they're not exposed to so much UV light. Hence, people who live closer to the equator have darker skin and darker eyes, whereas those in Europe have、uh, lighter skin and lighter eyes. It may have something to do with that,、uh, with the amount of UV rays coming through the atmosphere at angles to the sun. And again, it gives color to the eyes, but it does absorb that harmful UV light. And in addition, or additionally, Eye color is the result of multiple genes working together, inherited from our parents, which determine the potential range of our eye color. So I remember back in science class, of course, we talked about genes, and we experimented with fruit flies and how they pass on their genes and things like that. So it's kind of related to that. It is.、Uh, it does have to do with all these different kinds of genes working together and crossing over generations. Whether it's from your father or your mother or whatever, and all those things determine your eye color. Here we've got the word inherit, which means you basically get this from a previous generation.、Uh, you may have blonde hair, and you could say, "Oh, I inherited my blonde hair from my parents," or the fact that I'm、uh, fairly tall, so I may have inherited my height from my ancestors who were from Holland. Yeah, another synonym for this would be a verb phrase. A verb phrase includes a verb plus a preposition, but we'll often talk about、uh, having something that was passed down, p a s s e d, passed down from our parents or maybe our grandparents. So you could uh, maybe have uh, have an eye color that was passed down from your grandmother or your granddad. Who knows?、Um, and these genes, these multiple genes working together, determine the potential range of our. Eye color. There's a big range. My grandfather, my mother's dad, had the bluest of blue eyes. They were stunning. Mom got those, but then my brothers and sisters that have blue eyes, it wasn't so、uh, deep blue, right?、Mm. It was a little. It was a little lighter. It wasn't in, as intense. So when you talk about 
the range of something. It can go from very light to very dark. Potential is one of our vocabulary words, and when it's placed in front of a noun, it just means possible or capable of becoming real. Here, it means possible. So, possible range. Oh, there are lots of different colors、uh, based on that mixture of genetics that we get from our families. Right. The likelihood that something will happen in the future—that's what potential is. So let's move on now to the next paragraph here and continue to talk about eye color. Interestingly, eye color is not fixed. Okay, that means it can change. That's something I did not know. I didn't either. Except,、uh, have you noticed that older people, when they get very old, like eighty-five and above, their eyes start to、um, the color isn't as intense. Could be. Yeah. They also might be getting.、Uh, Astigmatism or Cata- cataracts. Cataracts, yeah. Yeah, my or, mom got those. Or、yeah. glaucoma or whatever,、no. so that could influence the color of the eye.、Mm-hmm. But again, it's not fixed. I suppose it's similar to hair. When I was a kid, I had really light blonde hair,、yeah. and I don't have that hair anymore. It got darker over time. Well, the eye color of a baby may differ from their adult eye color as melanin develops and matures over time. So you might want to look at your baby pictures to see exactly what color your eyes were then, because they may have changed as you continued to grow up, as you continued to mature. Yeah, if you、um, if if you grew up or you have brothers and sisters that were uh, born, uh, you probably noticed that their eyes were kind of a muddy color. They were indistinguishable. So when they're first born, they're not really blue, green, or even brown. They're just kind of this weird. A、mixture of colors, and my mom would say, "Just wait. It takes a little while before their eye color really shows."、Um, but I just thought that was interesting how life develops, even after they're born,、uh, their eye color continues to change. We're going to keep talking about this, guys. But right now, we're going to take a break and listen to our Chinese teacher. 听众朋友，大家好，我是安娜。我们今天啊，来看一下这个科学单元。其实科学单元很有趣耶，每次都会谈到一些我们不太知道的事情。比如说，像今天我们要看的文章是有关于眼睛瞳孔的颜色。当然，其实我们说瞳孔啦，它真正有颜色的地方是 iris， 是虹膜的那个部分。好，不过今天的文章很特别哦，我们也设计成综合测验，也就是克漏字的题型。在第一段的时候啊，其实我们就有看到说啊，眼睛反正就是灵魂之窗嘛。那每个人的这个虹膜，虽然我们会说瞳孔，每个人眼睛这个颜色其实是不太一样。那为什么会这样子呢？我们一定会想说，哎，为什么每个人的眼睛的颜色不一样？其实进到第二段啊，我们直接就看到了，在第二段的第一句中间这个冒号前面有 two factors。有两个原因哦，两个原因造成这个 eye color 的一种是什么样子？这个什么样子呢？答案就是 A 的这种组合、组成的这个样子。那第一题 A、B、C、D 的四个选项，完全就是单字的意思套到句子当中。我们的推测，两个原因造成眼睛组合成为颜色的这个样子。好，那到底是什么原因呢？冒号之后就告诉我们啦。因为每一段的第一句其实都蛮重要的，它都会是一个段落的主题句，告诉你这个段落啊大概是在讲什么。所以冒号之后的这两个原因，第一个就是我们所谓的 melanin 这个黑色素的量，在 iris 虹膜当中黑色素的量 ，and genetics 还有我们基因的关系，也就是说父母亲其实会决定我们的眼睛的这个这个虹膜的颜色哦。好，那么接着呢，我们就来看到。在第二段这边第三句就蛮重要的，因为这个黑色素啊，其实如果是越多的话，我们的眼睛啊看起来颜色就会越深。在第二段第三句，它是一个很重要的句型，因为当中非常常见就是比较急、比较急的句型，也就是 the more the more 的句型。中文我们说 the more the more 的句型，当然你也可以说 the more the less， 或者是 the less the less， 也就是说逗点前后两个句子。它的情况是成正比或者是反比，我们都可以用 the 加比较级逗点 the 加比较级。例如，我们在这里看到的是 the more melanin it contains， 包含的黑色素越多 ，the darker the eye color will appear， 眼睛的颜色看起来就会越深，或者是所谓的越黑。
那在英文当中 ，the more the more 的句型一定要了解哦。好，接下来就提到啦，这个黑色素啊，其实当然不只是为了要增加我们眼睛所谓的颜色，但是最主要其实它是要吸收周围的一些光线，要保护我们的眼睛啊，免于 UV damage， 就是一些紫外线的伤害。这个是呢，告诉我们呢、啊，在第二段第四句。主要的一个文艺，可是来到第二句这个第五句的时候啊，来到第五句，我们又看到一个关键转成词语是 additionally， 除此之外，除此之外怎么样呢？其实眼睛的颜色就是我们刚刚说的，一定要提到这个基因的部分啦。其实它就是好几种不同的基因啊，整个的不同的交互的这个作用，而且呢，是从我们的父母亲那边遗传过来，也是。决定我们眼睛颜色很重要的一个关键因素。可是，在这里第二段的第五句呢，它感觉有点复杂。好，为什么复杂呢？其实它有一个简化的关系子句，然后有一个补充的关系子句，都是用来修饰第二题之后这个 multiple genes， 好多种的这个基因。那这个什么样的基因呢？第二题呢，我们先看一下，可能比较有这个疑问的，应该就是 A 跟 C 了。A 是什么什么的结果，那么 C 的 reaction 呢是什么什么的反应，针对什么而产生出的反应，这个是 C 的答案。可是我们说很多不同的基因交互作用，然后这个父母亲就这么决定了，所以结果就产生我们眼睛的颜色。第二题的话 ，A 是比较通顺的答案哦。那么接着我们就要直接看这一句，我们刚刚说关系子句的简化，先行词先抓出来，先行词。就是这个 multiple genes 有多种的基因，这个基因如何呢？后面的 working 一直到 parents， 我们先左右挂号。那么后面带着两个分词，一个是 working， 一个是 inherited。那其实原本的关系子句啊，它的冠代有可能是 which 或者是 that。可是重点这边的 work together 的 work 还原这个 ing 还原是 work， 后面的 inherited。本来有连接词的 and r be 动词 inherited from our parents， 那连接词又省略 be 动词直接删掉，所以剩下的由什么地方继承而来？由父母亲这里所继承而来。我们看到的就是一个过去分词 inherited。那我们刚刚说有一个补充的关系词句，对不对？讲完了这样子的基因交互作用，然后从这个父母亲而来逗点之后，我们再补充说明。那这样子的情况呢，就是这种基因交互的影响，才决定我们眼睛的颜色。所以逗点之后的 which 还是指的是这个 multiple genes。好，这一段就只有这个第五句呢，感觉稍微复杂一些。We're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. But、uh, we've got a range of colors that we、uh, can actually have as an eye color here on Earth. Crystal clear blue. You could have a really deep blue. You could have a light blue.、Uh, there was a famous actress named Elizabeth.、Um, what was her last name? Montgomery. No. Bewitched. No. Not her. Elizabeth. The most Taylor. famous. Taylor. Taylor. Elizabeth Taylor. She was described as having. Violet eyes, which is a kind of a purple color, light purple. And my mom always said it's true. She had the most amazing colored eyes. So if you see a, a film、uh, with Elizabeth Taylor, see if you can check that out. But there are browns and greens and blues and、uh, even a pink. We're going to talk about that、uh, some people get because of their genetics and、uh, from genes being passed down. Now, when we left you, we were talking about how the formation of eye color is influenced by two factors: melanin, which is that dark brown or black color that is a natural part of our skin, and our hair, our eyes. Everyone has it, 
Some people have more than others. The iris is the colored part of your eye, and we also discovered that、uh, melanin actually helps to protect our eyes from the UV sun rays. So we're going to move on. We're going to talk about. We're moving on to the third paragraph. We we ended、uh, right before the break by saying eye color is not fixed. If something isn't fixed, it means it can move or change, right? If it's fixed, it's very.、Uh, It's permanent. It's steady. It's it can't move anywhere. So、um, we're going to talk about how this works. I mentioned that when I was a young girl, I was the oldest sister, so I saw the other kids being born, and I used to think, "Wow, the newborns their their eye color is so weird.、Mm. It's it's not really a color yet. It's kind of a mud. We would say muddy, which is a mixture of lots of colors together." Right. So the big question is, can you change that color voluntarily? I'm sure a lot of people are wondering that. Gee, could I have plastic surgery to change the color of my eyes so I can have blue eyes or brown eyes or whatever? I don't think it's possible, folks. I think the only thing you can do is wear colored contact lenses. But we did mention the point that eye color is not fixed. It does change as you get older.、Uh, your eye color may differ from when you are an adult, which means it could be different.、Uh, your your color, the color of your eye when you were a baby. Is going to be different from the color of your eye when you're an adult, so it differs. It's different, and that's because melanin develops and matures over time. Now, besides or in addition, environmental factors such as sunlight exposure can cause temporary changes in eye color, making them appear lighter in sunny environments. So, I suppose if you spend a lot of time outdoors at the beach or something, that may cause your eye color to change. But we're saying it could change. Temporarily, or temporary here is the adjective that just means it's not going to last forever. It's only for a short time. Okay, guys, I'm going to go back to this verb differ for a minute.、Um, differ is being used as a verb. Typically, we use different, right? Something is different from something else,、uh, which is an adjective. Differ is a verb, just means to be different. So you're just going to use it in a different way in your sentence. Uh, but I wanted to talk about prepositions, which kind of trip people up.、Um, it, not just here in Taiwan, but even in America,、uh, people are like, "Which preposition do I use?" You can use quite a few with the verb "differ." So you could say their styles differ. You don't need a preposition there. The two schools differ in their approach to discipline. Notice I used the preposition "in," so you can use "differ in something." Differ from something. The new version diff differs significantly from the old one. You can use the preposition with. They differed with each other on political matters or religious matters. You could also have two opinions that don't agree. So we differ on how best to raise our kids, or we differ about how best to spend our money. We differ about. We differ over. What temperature we prefer. So you can use all of these different prepositions.、Um, again, this is using differ as a verb instead of using the adjective different. All right, and this reminds me of a phrase we have in English: "Beg to differ." If you disagree with somebody, you could say, "Well, I beg to differ. I don't agree. I have a different opinion." But again, the eye color of a baby may differ from their adult eye color. So be aware of that. I don't think you should spend time out at the beach just because you want your eye color to change. That's probably not advisable. That's going to hurt your skin. Yeah, you might get、uh, you know skin cancer or something like that. So、uh, yeah, do some research first. But I think、uh, yeah, at a certain point in your life, your eye color more or less is permanent, but it can change temporarily, which is the adverb form of temporary, which means only for a short time. Now, according to statistics, which are figures or ratios. Brown is the most common eye color globally. I often hear people here in Taiwan. They're speaking Chinese, but they're saying,、um, "I have、uh, black eyes."、Mm. But we always describe your eyes here as being brown.、Um, so when you translate it to English,、uh, you know, of course, say whatever you want in Chinese. But when you、uh, transfer or translate that into English, use brown. People don't talk about having black eyes unless someone has hit you in the face with their、mm. fist. And then you can have a black eye, right? But we don't describe the color as being black. It's a brown. It's a beautiful brown. 
Um, so, according to statistics, a statistic is just a number that represents a piece of information you're talking about. For example, you want to talk about、um, how many girls and boys are in a class. You could say, "Well, we have forty percent boys and sixty percent girls." Those are statistics. You'll often see statistics in the news.、Um, you might see, "Oh, inflation has gone up five、uh, percent this month." You know, you're looking at numbers or figures that give you some information about something. So those are statistics. It's also a division of mathematics that you can study if you're really smart.、Uh, st- st- statistics, or as we call it, stats,、uh, are kind of difficult, but they're really good here with statistics, Tom. I've had some classmates that were really impressive. I feel like an idiot compared to people here in Taiwan in that regard because I took a statistics class in university and I dropped out after about a week or two because I had no idea what they were talking about. No, I had to take a class here, and I had a great professor that met with me every week, but it was、mm. hard. Yeah, it's not easy, but、uh, in in this particular case, though, it just refers to information. That is gathered and interpreted、uh-huh. with charts and things like that. So we've got statistics. They've、uh, looked at different eye colors all over the world, and they have come up with some conclusions. And they have reached the conclusion that most people in the world have brown eyes, especially if you look at the eye color of people in Africa and in Asia. While at the same time, blue and green eyes are more widespread in Europe. Okay, so you will see more people with blue eyes. And green eyes in Europe, although there are quite a lot of people who do have brown eyes there as well.、Uh, so blue eyes are fairly common. Sometimes, if they are really blue, we might call them baby blues.、Mm. Yeah. So green and gray are considered rare, and pink is usually associated with albinism. It's a condition caused by the absence of melanin.、Um, if you've seen someone walking around who has kind of white hair. Very white skin here in Taiwan. They're Taiwanese. They have something called、um, albinism. It's a condition that's caused by the absence of melanin. There's no melanin in their whole body. So remember, melanin makes our hair color darker, our eyes, and our skin. So if you see this, you know that they were born without any melanin, and that's a condition、uh, called albinism. It belongs to a group of people who are. Described as being albino,、um, no matter though what color the eyes are, they reflect a one-of-a-kind genetic combination and individual features, displaying beauty and diversity. What does diversity mean, Tom?、Uh, it just means you have a lot of different things together in the same place. You could talk about、uh, population diversity in big cities like Toronto or New York City, where they have all sorts of different kinds of people there: white people, black people, Latino, Indian people, etc. It has a lot of diversity, and again, we are talking about a lot of diversity in terms of eye color.、Mm-hmm. And I guess some of us、uh, have opinions on what、uh, color of eyes look better. I think it all depends on the dif- on the different kinds of situation. You know, my mom used to say it's not the eye color, Steph. It's the shape of the eye. That so, too, yeah. Yeah, everyone has different tastes. I prefer brown eyes, but you know, a lot of people out there. Like blue or something else, so who knows? If you don't like your own eye color, of course, there isn't much you can do about it except wear colored contact lenses. But as we've said to us, it seems kind of creepy.、Uh, I know I've、uh, talked to people at like convenience stores, and they have these、uh, contact lenses in. Yeah, the younger generation. Yeah, it's yeah. like wow, wow. What kind of person am I talking to here? I like the brown. The brown color is nice.、Uh, keep the brown color. Although I have to say, I don't really know exactly the shade of brown. That、uh, people in Taiwan's eyes have, because Taiwanese people really don't like you to, to get too close to them, you know. So you can't really look in their eyes and go, "Gee, what color eyes do you have?" Get away from me! You're weird. Don't get too close. And if you prefer or you like to try different things, hey, go for the colored contact lenses. Kind of matches the colored hair these days.、But、right now, we're going to take a break and listen to our Chinese teacher. 不过到了第三段呢、啊，我们又看到这个颜色啊，眼睛的颜色其实是会稍微改变的哦。为什么是这样讲呢？其实第一句啊，在段落当中跟第一句当中啊，都有告诉你一些这个暗示。比如说 ，interestingly， 但是很有趣的是，它就有画风一转的意思哦。眼睛的颜色并不是怎么样的。换句话说，眼睛的颜色是会怎样哦？第二句
，动词的关键 differ 不一样。接下来我们又看到，在第三句的地方，第三句比较中间后面有一个 temporary changes， 这里也是一个关键。所以第二句的 differ 跟第三句的暂时性的改变。都呼应了，在第三段第一句当中，也就是第三题，我们必须要选的是 fixed 这个答案。当然，在这句当中 ，not fixed 并不是固定的，也就是告诉我们眼睛的颜色其实是会改变。好，所以来到了第三段，我们最后面看一下第三句这个地方有一个简化的关系子句哦。逗点之后的 making 还原是 which make。但是这里的 which 啊，指的并不是前面逗点的这个逗点前面的这个 eye color， 而是逗点前面的 temporary changes in eye color 这整组。关键就是暂时性的变化。那暂时性的变化呢，就会让眼睛看起来好像颜色淡一些。好，那最后面呢这一段我们就提到每个人颜色不一样嘛，那有没有一些这个共同性呢？其实是有的。比如说，在第四段的第一句啊，就告诉我们，根据统计数字，基本上呢，全球比较常见的颜色还是 brown， 就是棕色。通常在非洲跟亚洲，来到第四题，不晓得要填什么东西之后，蓝色跟绿色的眼睛在欧洲是比较普遍的。不过这个第四题就很妙啦，我当然，我们这个第四题 A、B、C、D 的这个选项，可能 B 的选项稍微注意一下。B 选项的 since 可能是介系词或连接词，那本身就可以表示原因或者是自从的意思。可是像 A 跟 D 的答案都是副词，但是 C 的这里的 while 呢，有可能是连接词的 when 或者是然而，表示逗点前后的子句的状况呢是对比对照。所以在这里我们要先判断一下词性。第四题逗点之前。be 动词 brown is 这里的 is 你可以圈起来。逗点之后呢 ，blue and green eyes are 这里 be 动词的 are 也可以圈起来。这两个 be 动词中间，你会发现它根本没有连接词，所以第四题一定是一个连接词的词性。那根据上下文，我们选 C 的 while。然而这个语义是比较通顺的。然而蓝色、绿色的眼睛则是在欧洲是比较多的哦。好。所以第四题我们选 C 的答案。那接下来当然也有别的颜色啊，像有些人有绿色啊，或者是比较灰白色的眼睛，甚至有些人有粉红色的眼睛。哎，在第四段的这个第二句，我们看到，其实如果是粉红色的眼睛，眼睛的话，通常是跟白化症 （albinism） 是有关的。那在这句当中，我们把 albinism 的白化症这边可以抓出来。逗点之后，其实带着一个同位语。跟简化的关系子句，逗点之后的 a condition， 它指的就是一种病症，这是同位语等号的概念。什么样的病症呢 ？Caused 一直到句尾可以左右挂号起来，也就是说 ，which is caused by the absence of melanin， 也就是说，因为缺少黑色素的关系而引起的这个症状。当然，不管是大家的颜色是什么样，眼睛的颜色是什么样的颜色，我们都在今天的文章当中啊，多增加了一点有关于科学的知识，希望大家会喜欢。我是安娜，我们下次见。We're out of time, guys. We're going to have to sign off. We're glad you joined us today. If you have time, check out our Facebook page and our YouTube channel to learn even more for English Digest. I'm Stephanie. I'm Tom. Goodbye. Bye.